I need your help. My God, what a carnage. Show yourself, you who speak to me. A weeping sound from above reaches your ears. Hurry up! Petal, I'm in such a pain. Are you hurt? Where are you? Hey, you! What are you doing there? Hey, hey, I'm talking to you! Wait, I recognize you. He is one of the instigators. A rebel. Arrest that man. Draw your sword. It's either you or them. They only deal in absolutes. Don't I? How come is that? I, I don't even know my own name, and somehow... Renee. Your name's Renee. Now, everything's about to be crystal clear. Come closer, Petal. Touch my heart, and you shall see what happened. I came to bring back the balance they've lost. Ruthless tormentors. Tiddy! Aim for the head! None of them wanted to hear what I had to say. Primitive creatures. So violent. So vile. We had to fight back. Toxic world, my petal. So very toxic. Stripped of my strength, I've withdrawn. Frightened beasts are the wildest, aren't they? What did you do to deserve such fate? Yes. I terrified them. I might be different, but do I deserve to die for that? Renee, take my heart. Save me from obliteration. You're my only hope. No creature deserves to die like this. But I need to know I'm on the side of good. There are no sides, Renee. But there is hatred that you and I can stop. I will lead you to a safe spot that I have seen before my body collapsed. You're one of them. You'll blend in, right? I always manage things on my own. Why should it be different this time, huh? I'll help you. Lead the way.
Thanks for the assist here. It would be quite dishonorable to <laughs> die pressed by a bathtub. You're Rene, right? Do I remember that correctly? We've met before. You're one of his men, aren't you, Bet? You look the part. I... yes. Do you know what happened here? The city's in complete ruin. Lamentably, I can't explain it. You were with us at the coronation, right? Did you see the giant? I guess I can't remember. It's all blurry now. I think this all might be connected. Rumors were that the tribesmen were fiddling with dark magic. All I can remember is darkness, really. Sure must have been in the crowd, right? I do believe so. The city gathered in front of the cathedral for the coronation of Prince Philip August. As Max begins his story, memories flash vividly before your eyes. Blessed be this day on which we crown Philip August de France, and all of you who come to do the homage to service. Let this be the day when we end our mourning over Kenya and renew the sacred covenant the glory of its eternal grace. People of France, I here present unto you Philip, your undoubted... By the God, what is this monstrosity? standing there, about to put the crown on the prince's head. Suddenly that monster explodes from the ground and smashes him to a hideous pulp. A both grueling and yet awe-inspiring sighting, my friend. I'll take that to my grave. I think the creature got the crown, too. So, no king? That's it. France has no king. All hell will break loose. I tell you, this monster might just be what we need to break out of the monarchy's shackles. Wait, so you... so we... we're the rebels? Indeed, son. Well, hold that thought. Looks like we have some company. system has already identified you as my associate. Perhaps you could help me again. Our dear Anna, the rising star of the rebellion, has gone missing. I saw her being chased by the soldiers after that bloody spectacle at the cathedral. She must be somewhere on this island. We can't leave her alone like this. This Anna he speaks of, she's the fearless whole uprising. A strong seed. I feel it. We must meet her, Beto. You're right, Max. We can't. After you, then. Great. In the meantime, take these. Some supplies may come in handy.
I'll find a use for that. My people will eventually break your siege. We will rip the freedom we're owed from your cold, dead hands! What on earth are you mumbling about? It's been like that for decades. Ugh. And I want to make things better, but I can't with you ravaging half of the city. Step down, let's talk. I'm done with you talking. Face me. All I see is a kid in rich robes. Show me there's a man in there too. Anna. You are destroying the very place we have sworn to protect! My allegiance lies with the people, not your gold and jewels. Now let it end here, Philip. No need for more blood to be shed. End it? It has just begun, my dear friend. I just wanted to have a glass of wine and meet my destiny of becoming a king. Besides, I have the whole army behind me. I have the might of the crown of France! I have... The only thing you have, Philip, is a stupid look on your face, and a cannon pointed right at your back. I'm so happy to see you. I thought they got you too. They would have, if I didn't get help from Rene here. Look, they're bringing a cannon. We'll do the proper introduction later. Where do we go? To the theater. Quickly, they're firing! Thank you, Rene. We have made it safe to the theater. Come join us. I'd like to meet the mighty rebel who rescued me. Oh, that was nothing, Anna. Only my duty. I would love to join you, but our comrades at the cathedral still need me. Indeed. The fighting in the center grows in scale. You should go. But come back later. The future of Paris lies in your hands, too. And by the way, you're one hell of a fighter. We're lucky to have someone like you standing side by side. Cunning, my petal. Very cunning. Now, see that hole down there? This path will take us right to the cave from my visions. See this golden syrup seeping through the rocks? That's of their making, an essence that we can use to restore my physical shape. We must find its source. I feel it nearby. The wall is covered with a large, weathered marking. You can't decipher the text. Maybe 
some light would help. Who the hell are you? Oh, Mat, no! No need for savagery, messieurs. I might be able to help. Look at that! A self-proclaimed rebel idiot wants to help. You should have thought of that before lighting up the city with the rest of your comrades. What is it that you're seeking here? Monsters, rebel. These walking corpses that attack citizens. Wait a second. What's that glimmering thing you're holding? Show it right away, you mongrel. Don't let them see my heart, Rene. They're ready to kill you even for holding it. This is my personal errand. That's what it is. You're helpful to everyone, aren't you, rebel? Your choice. Get that vermin. served me well. Place my heart on this altar. In the throes of recent events, you deserve to know what's going on. First of all, Call me Lady Bliss, Petal. I definitely have more questions than answers. So, who are you, Lady Bliss? I have traversed hundreds of worlds before I found yours. Someone tampered with forces they didn't understand, and I was able to come here. Some see me as the Reckoning, and some as a threat. But what matters is your mission. My mission? I thought... This was my mission, lady. I got things to attend to. This world has been out of cosmic balance for too long. Rene, we need to restore tranquility. I need your help to do that. I'm so confused. That man, Max, he said things about you. He told me about a broken coronation. An explosion. How can I trust you? You will see that you have no choice. I'm all that you got. Now, your task, Rene. There are four seeds that claim power in this city. The Rebels, the Crown, the Tribe, and the Congregation. Someone needs to take the Crown, change the course of history. You will help me find that person. Max mentioned that the Crown's gone missing. Why would I be the right person to find the next heir to the throne? Isn't there like a dynasty? A first in line kind of thing? Rene, everyone needs guidance. Talk to them. Help them with their little dramas. See through their lies. Reach to their hearts. Find me someone worthy of the crown, and you shall be greatly rewarded. Go back to the chamber you passed. You will be able to return to the city from there. Wait, a reward? What would it be? But the voice of Lady Bliss vanishes into darkness, leaving you alone with your unanswered questions. Oh, bloody hell. You're gone. I will find my answers elsewhere. I do all their work. Someone wants to trade places? Huh? Anyone? 
I should have seen this coming. You always held a grudge against me, Anna. Was it envy that people favored me over you? Don't make this personal. Honestly, it's quite pathetic. You and your ego. Big enough to fill the whole Versailles. Then help me understand this. How is killing innocent people supposed to restore balance and bring prosperity? You are better than that, Honor. I know you. You're angry, but you're not a criminal. You knew me, but you don't know me, Philip. I am the voice of the people. And people do not judge in the same way as courts of law. They do not hand down sentences. They throw thunderbolts. I think that you want to rule the city. You're obsessed with power? Admit it! Let's do it together then! It's about time these old pricks have finally stepped down. Let me help you. Rule? Together with you? I'd rather burn alive, dear prince. Be buried with my revolt. You are a populist, a little man. You try to protect the wrong people. Oh, please. You're looking for an excuse to burn a few houses and let off some steam, girl. And by the way, you'd be surprised how similar we are, Anna. Don't forget that your blood is every bit as blue as mine. You allowed this to happen, Philip. Letting people like Princesse de Lombal parade in fancy dresses while people starved at her feet. You won't stop us. I won't, but I know someone else will. Princess will not die today. And one more for my collection.
find a use for that. This won't do. They've built up a fortress in here. The answer is always more firepower. And you know what? We might be in luck. There's a war galleon being loaded up by the river. I don't think we can steal it with our tiny force. But maybe we can push them back long enough to get their gunpowder. Head to the docks and see what you can find. Stay focused. Oh, someone's lucky today. Hey, 
sunshine. Seems like you've hit a rough patch. Worry not. I have taken good care of you. What's going on? What have you done to me? Time for the hard truth, Renee. You're not human. You're just like me, but lesser. I have created you. Bullshit! I'm human. My name's Renee. You poison my mind. Confuse me with your venom, and now talk gibberish! No human can die and be born again. No matter what you believe, human bodies wither, become frail. Your body sustained damage beyond repair, so I gave you a new one. Why do I have the memories inside my head then? Memories of people, of a life before you. Organic engineering isn't easy, Renee. It's far beyond your comprehension. You needed a skin, so you had to find one. It comes with all the upsides. Find one? You're focusing on the wrong elements of the puzzle, Petal. You have a purpose. Not many humans do. In your hands lies the power to bring peace. Help so many souls. Before you leave this nursery, I'd like to remind you. You're mine, Petal, and I'm yours. We're inseparably bonded, no matter what you may attempt to do. We need each other. Right. Should I call you Mother, then? Oh, no. That would be just awkward. Off you go, seedling. I'll watch over you. Altar. Here, you can choose an offering from our avid followers. It will restore you to your former self, and perhaps even make you stronger. The word of our deeds is already circling around the city. Our devout followers were eager to join us in our new home. Look at all the shiny things they've brought. The gems and trinkets they hold dear, presented as offerings to our cause. Oh, isn't that delightful?